Hi, and welcome to A1 Figures. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of a combination review. I'm going to be reviewing, uh, it'll be, a, it'll be a, like a three-parter. I'm going to be doing the uh, Avengers series Hulk. And I know it's a little overdue for this one, but there is so much to this that I need to uh, talk about. And I'm also going to be doing the uh, Arc Reactor one for uh, Tony Stark. And I'm going to be doing a comparison of, and it's going to be not Captain America centric, but more Steve Rogers centric. And I want to do a comparison of these two figures and what would be the best buy and some things like that. Um, as well, they both kind of have the same helmet thing and outfit. Um, strengths, I actually like the Steve Rogers head out more than the Captain America. You ever notice when he's in battle in the movies and all of a sudden like his mask is gone? He takes it off all the time. Must bug him after a while. I don't know, but um, anyways, I do like that better. And I just want to kind of go over some things with that. So, but let's kind of, I want to actually start off with the Hulk, okay? Now, it was interesting because I watched some reviews and I kind of waited out for a while to get this figure. Now, when the new one came out, um, you know, last year, uh, a buddy of mine actually sold this, and you know, I think I got what two thirty-five, all said and done, and uh, kept going down in price, and I uh, couldn't complain, nor would I. But I really has, and I really like this figure. This is really sharp, um, and I'm going to tell you why. First, I was I was worried that I would be underwhelmed with it. Let me just give you a couple things. The figure is about 18 and a half inches tall, so it's almost the same size as a quarter scale. I have a entry base shack figure, and I have a, a Hot Toys uh, Chewbacca figure, and <laughs> he dwarfs them both. In fact, if you look at it like if I were to do this. The top, I have an Ender Bay basketball hoop would be like right here. So it is to scale. So I'm guessing, you know, he's probably about, oh, if he were to, you know, be in scale, he'd probably be like nine feet, give or take, you know, a few inches, maybe nine foot, like eight, 12, like eight, 10 to nine, three range, I'm guessing, somewhere around there. I don't know how tall he's, you know, he's supposed to be in the movie, but, uh, Anyways, um, so when I was getting ready to get it, and I got it for the price, I was like, oh, I gotta get it. Uh, this guy is giving me good deals, and he wants to sell it, and I thought, you know, shoot, I'm gonna buy it. And he's only stayed over, and so when you get, uh, just one pointer. People that, like, if you're in the States and you want to buy a figure, let's say you live in the East Coast, uh, look on eBay if you're not a very patient waiter for shipping. Order somebody that's in the same district as you. So, like, in East Coast, if you live in North Carolina and you see the same figure and you're five bucks, ten bucks off, but you want to hurry and get it, and one's in California and it's ten bucks less than the guy who's, uh, you know, the state over, get the guy who's stayed over. It comes faster. There's less chance of having damage, of, of going through some stuff. So, when I go to eBay, I, I live in Idaho. I go to, you know, Washington, Nevada, you know, things west of me, too, especially Utah, which is the south, or California is where I get most of my stuff. Texas, you know, has come. But those come in, if we need to do U.S. Priority Mail, they are here within two days. So if they ship it on a Monday, nine out of ten times, I'm going to get it Wednesday. I did order an, a figure. They sent it out. Um, today is Friday. They sent it out Wednesday, and actually it's not going to be here till tomorrow. And so that's the only time I think that uh, it's been three days in a long time. But nine out of ten times, you're going to get it in two days. That's just the FYI. So just think about that. If you're in the South, try to get the same region if you don't want to wait as long. So after I ordered, I watched a couple reviews of my favorite. And he is the best reviewer. And he's honest. And he's so straight up. And I love his personality. He's blunt to the core. Is the Clipper King. If you want to watch a, a great review, go to the Clipper King. The guy has helped me tremendously and and stuff like that. He's just he's so much better than anybody I know. He's detailed, he's honest, he's fair, and things like that. And nine out of ten times he I love what he says. Now I will dis I will depart with him 
on this figure, you know, and not it's not because I think he's wrong and I'm right. It's just me. That's all I'm going to say. It's not that I'm better or I think that I have a better notch on it. It's just that I have a different opinion than him and stuff like that. So just to clarify that, I almost got some basketball figures from him a year and a half ago and or a couple years ago. My brother died and just everything kind of got out of hand and I never got back to him. So I always feel bad. I should contact him and just say, look, it wasn't that I didn't want it. I just had some family stuff going on. But uh, anyways, so here's the Incredible Hulk figure. It's the first one, the Avengers one. Oops, I knocked over some of my arc reactor stuff for Tony Stark. Okay, and... A lot of you have seen the box. It's less, it's not even like a. It's different than a slip cover. You lift it up and you know it, you just open it up. It looks like a slip cover, but it's not like the other ones in that series. You know the box is probably about 20. I think it's a little over 20 inches, so like maybe 21 inches. It's huge. It's just a huge, huge box. And uh, it's funny, you know. You've heard people say, you know, I've heard. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he said, "Gosh, that figure is bigger than you think." And boy, were they right with this one. I'm like, gosh, that's huge. And that, you know, and then you, you try to lift it there. And this thing's, this thing's got to be 20 pounds. I mean, it, it's huge and stuff like that. Look, stuff like that. It's just the one massive figure. Look at his, you know, look at his hands compared to Stark's hands. You know, his pinky is longer, is like longer than Stark's, you know, where the wrist peg goes. I mean, it's just just massive uh figure um and so let me just go with some of the complaints that i've heard and seen and i will not disagree i wish that see the thing is they have this bendable thing it's like a i think there's a body underneath this and it goes up and down and stuff like that i don't know why they couldn't have done that here you know there's, i mean but i'm not an action figure expert but so because it does look kind of figureish there but you know if you have it down it's obviously more so you kind of want to keep them up more like this so it's less of a thing to be seen um and i've seen different figures but like on the legs you know you can see where they have the knee thing now mine the way it's the way that's mine is actually i don't see the uh, uh ankle thing from where i'm at on my figure so maybe just what the mine looks like there um so so it is a little bit different that way and then obviously the foot thing I think they could have just left it on instead of making it like that you know it does that's the uh, complaints there I will say that if you look at the head sculpt it is uh, it is incredible and you look at the eyes and things like that I did kind of try to move the eyes the teeth I need to brush the teeth a little bit more the hair and everything like that but you know you look at that it's like gosh you know it's pissed you know and get the lower lip thing kind of going there, but uh, here's the, you know, just the tension that he's got, you know, and it's the, the veins and then the, you know, the hair and stuff like that. And so it just, you know, it's just done really, really well. And I just love the detail uh, done, done to this figure and all this stuff. It's done really well. Um, there, you know, hands too. I don't like that. Well, that is a negative thing, but I do think, and then I didn't, you know, until the Clipper King actually showed on his review, you know, the head thing comes off, there's a little two magnetic things on the side, which I kind of like better than those DX ones that have the magnets on top. They always pop off when I'm having to crazy glue them back on, but, uh, you know, that's just kind of it. And then you kind of go to the back here and uh, just, you know, massive thing in the back, you know, and there's this, you know what? But uh, just, it's just a big figure, and it's wide, and he just, uh, he puts the U in the word husky, as in, you are husky, man. This is just the, the arms and everything. It just, it's been so well done, and I cannot uh, say any more than just that. Uh, now, I do do, uh, in my second part of this video, I am going to give you a review on him, on my five points and uh, I will give you that so this is just part one and just kind of giving you an overall feel for this figure and I just wanted to talk about that I will get into the Steve Rogers versus Captain America Ultron versus Winter Soldier I 
think there are some things that may be pointed out. And then this awesome Tony Stark and the head sculpt is just 